Hi folks, Sandro here with more cartoon news and shenanigans, and today I gotta give a super quick shout out to one of my subscribers, Animation Fanboy. Thank you so much for sending me this trailer. He wanted me to talk about My Father's Dragon. So this is an upcoming movie going to Netflix, and it's made by the creators of The Secret of Kells, Songs of, Song of the Sea, and Wolfwalkers. Uh, and I'm told, out of all these three movies, you guys really, really love Wolfwalkers. So you're probably going to like this film if you like some of these films here, especially Wolfwalkers. And uh, this this trailer dropped one day ago. Already has a lot of uh, hype around it. 145K views. So yeah, you guys are talking about it. And um, can't wait to watch the trailer here. But before I get into it, my God, folks. My God, what did they do to the... <laughs> Are you seeing what this is right here? What did they do? Oh my god, they changed like everything. Like what uh, the videos are round now? Like YouTube slaughtered their own website. I don't know what's going on here. It all looks so bland, so generic. There's no personality here. This this site is called YouTube and there's like nothing special going on. We can't even look at the subscribe button. It's just black now. It's just black. It's so generic. It's so bland. We can't even have a red subscribe button anymore. It just has to be neutered and washed. Like, holy smokes. So generic. So lifeless. I can't stand this new look. And the round. What is it with the roundness? Why does everything need to be round now? Good God. Um, yeah. So I want to know your thoughts on this new overlay from YouTube. It, I think it looks like garbage. You know what I'm going to do? On my next poll. Uh, every Tuesday at 8 p.m. EST, I usually do a live stream. During my live streams, I do these little community polls, and I ask you guys a couple questions. I want to see what people's feedback on this are. I, I utterly just hate this new freaking overlay that they got going on here, this new like uh, change. Just awful. And I'm really not a fan of these rounded videos. Just gross, man. Uh, bring it back. Bring it back to the squares. Like, it just... It just doesn't feel natural because you go to the video and then you see it's square. It's it's literally a square. And then you're like, why are the corners round? <laughs> they just want it to look so generic and bland. Christ almighty. I can't stand it. Um, but let's watch this uh, trailer. Uh, and by the way, I did. I flipped it backwards. You guys can see the word Netflix is like backwards there. Uh, I flip it around because I don't want to get copyright claim. Netflix is really bad for copyright claim. Like, uh, every time, like almost every time, even the Cuphead show, I got copyright claimed on that one. Uh, I, I don't want to get any claims, so please understand. Maybe I'll put up my old mascot here. Whoa. Uh, maybe I'll put up my old, uh, hamster mascot uh, as a bonus so we don't get, uh, claimed here. Uh, my father was born a long time ago. Okay. Okay, so it starts out, and um, it's called My Father's Dragon. So uh, the first line here is like, my father was born a long time ago. So this seems to be one of those types of movies where the kids are like reading. Somebody's telling a story about the past. So that's the vibe we get here. Uh, this kid looks sinister. My God. <laughs> what is happening? What is this kid up to? Holy smokes. Uh, yeah, he's about to, he's like, Ooh, that basket, I could steal some fruit. You know, <laughs> why does this small child look so happy to steal from a basket? I don't know. Uh, whoops. Uh, let's get my little hamster back here. He lived in a world All right. that seemed like it would go on forever. All right. Uh, his parents seem to own a grocery store. looks cool. Uh, is that American chain? That looks like American money. Okay. So this takes place in America, I think. Uh, pretty sure anyway. <laughs> okay, we got a got hard. Times got hard, all right. And Poverty. Child like any other. Okay. Prone to scraped up knees and flights of fancy. Why is everything so A dragon. Hard? There's this the dragon. I can help. What the hell was that? Was that Whoopi Goldberg? <laughs> is that her? It sounded like her. Let's Everything's so hard. This is where I can help. Literally sounded like Whoopi Goldberg. I guess I'll have to check after if she's in this thing. Uh, from the creators of the Academy uh, nominated The Secret of Kells. Okay. You were kind to me. I'm going to return that kindness to you, Elmer. All right. Just sitting there. On and Wolfwalkers. Okay, they really want you to know about the Wolfwalkers one. In this little tiny island. An amazing, spectacular, real, All right. live... Dragon. Oh, 
<laughs> awesome. My name is Elmer. My name is Boris. All right. I, I like this. Giant dandelion trees. That's really... Or maybe they're shrunk down. They might be shrunk down. I don't know. Uh, we might have a Alice in Wonderland situation on our hands. Maybe maybe they ate a cupcake and now they've shrunk. I don't, <laughs> no, it's probably just giant dandelion trees. But it goes with my face. <laughs> my father. Uh, the, in, the, the design of the dragon looks a bit weird. He looks more like a dinosaur, I got to say. Is that just me? Like, he, he literally just looks like a freaking dinosaur. That does not look like a dragon. That looks like freaking a dinosaur um yeah that really <laughs> where's that shot right there <laughs> yeah yeah that that made him look like a he just looks like a dino oh you guys can't see it it's under the uh hamster there uh really looks like a dragon there that like went to jail and got a custom paint job <laughs> he has the black and white stripes except this time they're green and yellow uh so yeah pretty interesting uh design that they went for here <laughs> My name is uh, my name all right, Boris. back to Not the cool. Boris. Okay, Boris the dragon. They should have just called it Boris the dragon. You know, Boris the dragon. Uh, that sounds like a very Russian name. I am Boris. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> uh. It goes with my face. <laughs> my father literally looks like a dinosaur. In places no child had ever been. Okay, so it seems um, we have a situation. You know, the storyteller here. Uh, it seems like an older woman is telling a story about her father and a dragon. And uh, very interesting. So is this a made up story? This could be the case, right? It could just be a woman is like making some shit up or this could be real. Um, she mentions that it's the first time anyone had ever stepped foot in this like place. So we have like a bit of an, again, an Alice in Wonderland situation where she gets transported to like a different world. It's, it seems to be the case. Or maybe this is a secret island that just no one ever found. I don't know. But uh, very interesting. They do mention earlier, the cat mentions that. Where was that cat earlier? The Whoopi Goldberg cat mentioned that like she, since the boy had been good to the cat, the cat decided to show him like about the dragon and the island. I I don't know. I'm very curious. I, I, is that Whoopi Goldberg? We're going to have to do a check afterwards. Before, dangerous. <coughs> wild. Okay. I, I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting a little bit of, uh, you know, what, where the wild things are vibes, right? Are you guys getting that vibe here? I'm, I when I saw these animals right here, definitely getting those vibes. Uh, yeah. Like these two, a uh, little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit. Okay. Maybe not so much now that I get a better look at them, uh, while the video is paused. Okay. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, that that's a creepy tree. I, I just noticed that thing had an eyeball. What the hell? Uh, oh, there's another eyeball there. Jesus. Okay. Kind of creepy. Strange places. <laughs> yeah. Where the wild things are. Okay. So there we go. That's, uh, the, so this kind of, no, not the good. I was going to say, this kind of reminds me of the good dinosaur where he has to like make his mark or whatever the hell. Uh, no, it better not be something like that. This just looks like a, a generic, like ritual tablet here, uh, or maybe like a, a inscription of the prophecy we got going down here. Um, so yeah, he's going to look like that when he's grown up or unlocks his powers. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's double check. That's what I'm going to look like after I get my fire. When after I he gets his fire. Island. Okay. Save Wild Island. You're pulling Wild my Island. <laughs> Stop pulling my leg. <laughs> Is that a crocodile? Oh, save the island. I saw you do it. Okay. No, that's the way awesome. made me do it. But it can't be right because it just sinks worse the next time. There must That's interesting. So the dragon is so powerful he can lift an entire island? Is that what I just saw there? That's pretty cool. Um so yeah, they don't know why they can't save the you island. Wait, let me just re let me listen to that again. Save the island. I saw you do it. No, okay. that's the way Seiwa made me do it. But okay. It can't be right because is that is Seiwa. that gorilla the villain? That gorilla might be the villain. Okay. The next time, there must be a way to figure it out. Okay. This dragon to us. Okay, so he looked he looked a lot more it, it, like in that shot. He looks Yeah, that's a great Oh, I missed it. Shit. Uh he looks a lot more like a dragon like here at least. That's pretty good, but uh still a very wacky looking dragon design. I'm very interested to see why they went with that design of all things, but all right. I mean <laughs> it looks interesting enough. I ruled this dragon. 
dragon to us. Okay, okay, this has to be the villain of the movie, right? This, uh, this, like, ape, this baboon, this gorilla. We will track him and okay. the child. Oh. What do I do now, Elmer? Don't worry. What did that say? We will drag the him? I brought this dragon to us. Okay. We will track him and the child. Okay, we will track. He said track. So the gorilla is going to be looking for the kid and the dragon for some reason. Uh, and it, it seems to be a story here that this dragon needs to like unlock its fire to save the island for some reason. Uh, or maybe like maybe they got to carry the island back into the sky or something. I don't know. Uh, but very interesting stuff. This is a very interesting concept for a movie. What do I do now, Elmer? Don't worry, because I'm coming with you. We're going to do it together. You find the adventure. <laughs> you there it is. Come on, we have to get awesome. Out of here. Seem to be well, that's that's good. That's good that he had some food, you know. <laughs> what do you have? A lollipop back there? Uh, I think he had a lollipop. <laughs> yeah, this is. You know what? This is something that they never address in a lot of films. Um, like, it, how many times do characters go on a magical adventure and you never see them use the bathroom or eat candy? You know. <laughs> <laughs> or not can't you you never you rarely see like characters stop for food or some shit right so th this is cool that at least he had some candy on him so then if the audience is like hey wouldn't he starve if he lived on this island for a little while or he went on an adventure uh so he had some candy that'll keep him going for a little while but um you know after a while he's gonna have to chop up his little dragon friend and make a nice barbecue <laughs> <laughs> oh my god uh boris the dragon is gonna get chopped and barbecued baby oh my god we have to get out of here. <laughs> you don't seem to be scared of anything oh okay so there's the mom so so i wonder if the mom like was that shot of the mom like at the end of the movie when she's like maybe reacting to seeing her son again uh because these clips are all out of order here right uh here's the tigers again uh, I do like the design. I think they've grown on me a little bit. Yeah. And then there's those trees with the eyeballs again. I don't know what's up with that. I'll look after you. Awesome. Nice lightning effects. Just really uh, yeah, I don't, I'm not, I'm not feeling this one. I'm not feeling the logo. That's a very, wow. That is just a generic logo. Yikes. Uh, what do you guys think about this logo? Not not very good compared to some. Let's actually look at the wolf. What uh, what is it? Wolf walkers, wolf uh, walkers logo. Let's let's see that one. Uh, at least that looks like it, it looks more um you know stylized and uh, has a bit of a Celtic feel to it too. Uh, yeah, I definitely enjoy all of these different logos here. Wolf walkers, wolf walkers. Uh, yeah, those are much better designs than my father's dragon. Just so generic. They don't even have like a dragon in there anywhere. Come on. You could have did a better uh, logo than this. May I hope that's a temporary logo. I really hope they don't release the film with that generic ass looking logo. Okay. Um, but anyways. Yeah. Oh, there's a little bit more. What am I saying? Let's keep going. It really was my lucky day. Okay. Nice little sad Tomorrow's film. It's going to be even luckier. Oh. Uh, now it kind of looked like one of his, dr no, I guess that's just a weird shot. It kind of looked like one of his wings here was like broken or something, but I don't think so. Uh, and what are they, are they just looking at the sunset here? Or are they just like in a desert? <laughs> Cause if they're in a desert, he's going to have to cook up the old dragon pal here. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. His little candy will all melt. But, uh, yeah, honestly, this looked pretty good. It looked pretty good. Uh, let's just finish up here. So netflix only on net only on netflix november 11th so they are launching with that logo as the as the title um again let's just take a look at that one last time my father's dragon just such a generic title i i really wish they would change that it's very forgettable but uh yeah hopefully the movie itself isn't forgettable i hope it's a great little film uh this one looks pretty solid i'm not sure if i'm gonna watch this one but it does look pretty awesome though and uh, I just, I wanted to read uh, the dislike to like ratio. Very good. And uh, let's read a couple here. The Hannah, Ki the Hannah Hockey Wolf. 
The fact this is being made by the same people who made The Secret of Kells and Wolfwalkers, two of my favorite animated films, I could tell this film is going to be great. So yeah, a lot of fans of Wolfwalkers, a lot of those fans out there. uh, So they're happy for this one. I'm so happy to see one of my favorite childhood books turned into a movie. Okay, so this is based off a book. I didn't even know that. Um, This looks really cute. Animation is super smooth, and I always love a good childhood tale about growing up and the joys and woes that come with it. Um, maybe I should have read the description in the, let's see what we got here. Um, what is, so here, here's the plot, I guess. Uh, five time Academy award dominated animation studio cartoon saloon, the secret of Kells, songs, wolf walkers, uh, and, uh, Nora T- Tawomi, uh, the breadwinner comes an exquisite film inspired by the newbie honored, the Newberry honored children's book from author Ruth Stiles Gannett struggling to cope after a move to the city with his mother. Okay. That explains a lot more. Um, okay. Okay. So he moves to a new city with his mother. I, where's the father? Did he die? I don't know. Did he, did he go out for a pack of cigarettes? The old classic. Uh, we don't know where the father is, but um, what if the father is the dragon? No, that'd be weird. Uh, okay. Anyway. Yeah. What is this detective Pikachu all over again? <laughs> uh elmer runs away in search of wild island and a young dragon who waits to be rescued elmer's adventures introduce him to ferocious beasts a mysterious island and the friendship of a lifetime okay so that's pretty cool um my thoughts here is that he's gonna find his way home and uh i don't think he's gonna take the dragon with him i think i think it's gonna be one of those type of stories where like he goes he goes to the island does the adventure and then goes back home a changed boy or man right um and again it's called my father's dragon we get the vibe that it's being told by like a child like a a woman at some point in the future and she's talking about what an amazing man her father was so very interesting i wonder if this uh, movie is gonna start with like a grandma you know telling her kids a bedtime story i do wonder i i don't know but um it's a very interesting film for sure and uh, I just wanted to check Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> Was that Whoopi? Uh, Whoopi Goldberg. Um, my father's uh, not dinosaur dragon. Okay, let's type in that. Um, was it Whoopi Goldberg? I <laughs> have no idea. Uh, okay, somebody let me know if it was Whoopi. It, it sounded like her. It sure did sound like her. Uh, da, 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 da. is, is Whoopi in this thing? I don't even know. Stranger things bore. Okay. Um, Jacob Tremblay as Elmer. Okay. Oh, Whoopi go. Oh shit. She is in there. Whoopi go. Holy smokes. My ears did not deceive me. That was Whoopi. Uh, I'm not a really a fan of Whoopi Goldberg in modern day. I think she used to be good back in the nineties. You know, she was on X's and O's once she started doing all that shit with the view. You know, she, she became a really bitter person. I, I, I really don't like modern day Whoopi. She seems like a crazy, just <laughs> nutcase of a lady now. Um, but you know, her, she has a, she has a notable voice, you know, she does have an iconic voice and, uh, that's really cool that we're getting more, uh, Whoopi. How old is Whoopi even like 70 or something? <laughs> I have no idea how old that woman is, but, um, yeah, that's going to be it. My father's dragon. Uh, I'll leave a, a link in the description down below so you guys can uh, watch it for yourselves. And, uh, that's going to be it. Have a great day. Uh, you know, let me uh, say, please like, please leave a comment, subscribe, and why not watch an ad for your boy? You, Oh, Wait a minute. I almost said your boy YouTube for your boy Sandro. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day. Peace out. Bye-bye.